Yeah. Let's talk about this developing political situation in Scotland. Oh, yeah. Scottish man. Yes. yes. Uh, Hallelujah. Course. Scottish um, history. So, all right, well, just, just give us your opinion. Yeah. Of course, when, when Nicola Sturgeon stepped down and it was Kate Forbes or Hamza Yousaf, yeah. and, and the job, obviously, of First Minister went to Hamza Yousaf, Yousaf, I personally was a little disappointed. I quite like Kate Forbes. I felt she, I think everyone some did. of the things yeah. she said were a little well, she very was, controversial. She was crucified because she, had the, she was honest and said she didn't believe in sex outside of marriage and she didn't believe in same-sex Marriages. Which well, she is was a bit weird. Let's but, be honest. But, in the but, 21st but century, but she's entitled to a view. She's very she's deep. Christian. But I love the have... fact that she told us honestly yeah. what she felt, even yeah. if it was going to be controversial. And I mean, I think she was the nearest thing the SNP had to a sensible person. Yeah. Uh, but Scotland will be rejoicing today because uh, Yousaf is doing the first sensible thing he's ever done, <laughs> and that's resign. He's completely useless. He's yes. made a mess of everything he's done. Um, and the SNP are responsible for doing huge damage to Scotland, which is far worse off than England mm. because of the SNP. Nobody else. The SNP are to blame for the appalling f decline in education, the rising crime, the terrible drug deaths, mm. and also, which as a Scot I find deeply upsetting, the way the SNP have fueled not just sort of friendly rivalry, but deep hatred for the English. Um, it's part of the United Kingdom. We're the mm. same island. Mm. And the SNP, unforgivably, have stoked this antagonistic attitude for years and years, so much so that it's very hard to reverse. And when I go back to Scotland, I find it very, very unsettling. It's, it's interesting. You think ten years ago we had the referendum, yes. which was going to be once in a was it once in a generation referendum. It's all over now, isn't it? It's, I mean, nobody's the, the, talking yes. about independence because finally, I mean, I think every decent Scots person has now realised that the damage the SNP have done to their country uh, is so great they have to go mm. and forget independence, which is pie in the sky anyway. Their own chief former chief economist has said it would never work, no. which indeed it wouldn't. And also the ludicrous idea of going uh, separating from England and then going into the EU, yes. which is an even bigger bureaucracy yeah. and administration that would cause them much, would give them much less and what, independence. And what currency it's would absurd. they? And what currency would they have? Well, I don't. I don't think they'd have any currency because they'd run out of money by. Then. We shouldn't forget also the mad law they brought in just a couple of weeks ago, which is what is it now? 12,000, 13, oh, yes. 14,000 <laughs> people, you know, this new hate crime law and, and also a, a their position of, on gender. Yeah, I mean, both of them are absurd. Yeah. And they're not focusing on the, the fundamental issues that affect everyone in Scotland. And they've still got the SNP ongoing scandals. There's this continuing investigation into Peter Murrell. Mm. There's also the ferries scandal that's still there. There's the roads These they the promised. Ferries. About never five built. years delays. To yeah, Paris. and four hundred million over yeah. budget. Yeah. four hundred million incredible. of Scottish taxpayers' yeah. money wasted by these incompetent fools. Yeah. And and doing a partnership with the Greens was also crazy because the Greens, if possible, in Scotland, are even crazier than the SNP. Yeah. I know it's hard to believe. Yeah.